I received a dream. This is not something like I can forget. My whole being was extremely shaken. And God gave a dream, the flood that is coming and wiping out the nations and the port. It was like a port and then only few people left. There was the huge village out there, but it's not existing anymore. And God has been releasing many um, layers of truth and the blessings on the other end on January 2nd morning. Yeah. And January 2nd, early in the morning, not super morning. Around 4.30, between 5.30 a.m. EST. I received a dream. This is not something like I can forget. My whole being was extremely shaken. Why it was withheld till on January 1st, I'm not sure. But it was extremely scary. It is extremely crucial. I think two years back, exactly before USA election corruption happened, before. If you go to my channel, I'm not good at it. If you track two years before and God gave a dream, the flood that is coming and wiping away, wiping out the nations and then few nations, they were. They were not completely damaged. They were waiting and it, it was like a uh port it was like a port and then only few people left and they were looking uh on the sky that christ is going to come and it was so scary it's like my abdomen was filled with the fear what is that how come there was the huge village out there but it's not existing anymore so here what happened is when i got the dream um it was so sad, scary and i released it Okay, because I didn't want until I get the full interpretation because I am God did not ordain me as a gloomy, doomy, negative, news spreading, last speaking prophet. But God is the God when He gives the warning, He gives the authority, you know, to overcome, to demolish the strongholds, to demolish enemy strongholds. So I released it because so that I can release God's decrees and declaration and the protection upon the nations, upon the people. However, why I'm connecting here? Because always the flood refers not only just the natural wiping off uh, the nations and the property, the flood refers to the uh, lying spirit, a marine spirit, dragon. I'll come in detail. And uh, so it was a great lie. You know, people, they still they are accusing, ah, Trump did not come, don't believe in the prophets. You know what? So what you believe that will manifest and here, and then they, they did not support the prophets who are uh, talking, the protection, and who are confronting the lies. And they don't want to receive that. They want to find uh, the naturally fault. Uh, however, that is so deeper, we don't go there. And it's not the time to critic anyone. Here, the thing is, when the flood, the enemy, enemy is power, enemy is powerless currently right now, okay? And it is for sure. And uh, Jesus disarmed him. He, this, Jesus made him vulnerable. He is a powerless foe. But his power, how he is executing the power, even upon you, upon Christians, enemy has no authority over you. But, how can he execute his power, even though he is the powerless, through your, uh, the deception, the part of the deception, the lying part of your soul, of your atmosphere. So that's why uh, the enemy's flood, enemy's power, enemy's stronghold is the deception. It might be a doctrine from a heresy. It might be a, a corrupted government, election system, or corona, or whatever yes and uh, i always declare you know i got two times corona covid i still say that covid is not a disease i'm not honoring disease covid is a lie so here and then it just uh, uh, the the fear factor it just a uh, fear it's a lie whoever got afraid 
and then they got stuck okay and then even people uh, the servants of god they were telling god is judging god is oh okay and we, we will we will focus on those things later the flood means uh, the lying doctrine that time okay i'm not telling right now okay the flood won't come because that uh, last week the january second morning i got a very very it was a brutal dream my, my being was so shaken my thirst became dry because of i was i was not able because god took me exactly what's happening there was some house matter going on in my family out there in india and there are different levels of stress also going on here in us and in many runs of my life but i was stressed out as well so but still i don't want to conclude it's because of the stress because of the fear no because it was confirmed another leader in my jesus global mission when i was sharing this in the call in the conference call ministry time and he testified the same and he was saying he was thinking that's a boat and then there was a whale that is rising for me it was such a very cruel flood and then i saw the white water the flood water turned out to be like a dragon and then tried to grip my uh, legs and then i found that suddenly the house that was existing my forefathers my ancestors and then the house it was maintained yearned by my father maintained by my mother it was suddenly disappeared and then i saw another connection in because i didn't want to hold this because it's not just in india and then i saw here we are dealing with oh the house is gone how much the uh, insurance company can give the house value is 500k can we get uh, something and then insurance company said just 28000 ah no it's not uh, reasonable let me talk with them and then they agreed to pay 300k more and then still i was not convinced but it is the insurance companies are uh, just making lot of deal and uh, what is it? so something which is deeper something which is deeper and so i didn't want to settle it just a wrong doctrine alone remember this is the year of truth and the victory who who ever listened to the new year prophecy many acknowledge it as a decrease and declaration no that's the rema rema is received from god it's a nectar from god Jews from God believe in God's prophecy. Don't see that as the decree declaring. There are two kinds of prophecy. You can decree, you can declare, and then you can receive it. But the rema that is received from the that is the sword of God. In Ephesians six, and uh, Paul is writing about the armors. Many are settling with the the armors. God never uh, finish anything in the six, right? The seventh, there is an armor that is the the pray in the tongues and then take the sword so here praying in the tongues it's the, the there it is the prophetic word okay so here what happened is uh, why i bring this to the in natural level uh, the disaster that happened in india property why am i talking with the usa uh, uh, insurance company and many layers and then again, when god is confirming with and then i wanted to release that okay so here i named this session as the, the flood warning but it shall not <clears throat> you will be you are protected uh the scholar says the scholar says seven times reading psalms 91 because so many times i recorded in the phone um while i was driving because ever since i got this dream i have been praying 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 and then i was i wanted to release it but uh, let it be let this be a part of this uh, live stream today every time you read you take this as a very beautiful uh, strategy scope from heaven for your protection there is a protection covenant in psalm 91 there is a covenant it's, i'm not talking about the wordings uh, when you read like 1620 romans the god of peace shall crush the satan underneath your feet surely shortly 5470 Isaiah says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and you shall confute every tongue that is raising against you in judgment yeah so here there are lot of uh, uh, powerful protection verses when you when you see the hebrew structure of the verses the symbols they are used they used uh, the sword the sharper edge you know god's word is the double edged sword sharper than any double edged sword and it can even pierce to the soul and the spirit and intents and thoughts right bones and marrows however there are the more piercing sword the picture the meaning involved 
and uh, um, added in this one chapter, Psalm 91. Do not be familiar with this because it's one of the Sunday school Psalms. The kids are memorizing, okay? At least one single verse, when you step out of your house, whether you are going to a neighbor's door, or you are going for the very next, just a very small shopping, or you drive for like 10 hours, or you take the flight, never ever forget to release only one verse Psalms upon you. If your people are very living in the long distance, it doesn't matter. Call out their name and then by faith, stretch your hands, release only one verse of Psalm 91. That is the covenant of God here. So on top of that, seven times reading Psalms. After this, I'm going to bring beautiful revelation but that God has blessed to me uh, that can nullify this flood and that can release a very special protection and also sustenance of covenant to protection upon the body of Christ and upon the planet Earth, upon the universe. I strongly believe. Stay there. We will go for a little teaching. Before that, I wanted to tell you this a beautiful scope, strategy from heaven. Seven times you read Psalms 91 loudly. Loudly. Okay. And uh, there are the strategies. Even Jews today in 91, uh, you know, on seeing the prayer wall, they, they read the scripture so loud. And uh, there is a blessing when you read the scripture so loud. And when you read it seven times, it our faith start operating, ignited. What will happen? Our faith start ignited. You feel it or not, it doesn't matter. You feel it or not, it, it's not matter at all. But seven times when you are declaring, pronouncing, saying it loud, it's going to, hallelujah, it's going to uh, bless you amazingly. Uh, I, In my experience, it's not just to the protection. Sometimes something disturbance and then what happened? And then if something is confusing, and I start declaring so loud seven times, whether it's in English or any other your language. Eh, it is, I found this is more powerful than sometimes speaking in tongues. Seven times. Then I, I was, uh, I, whenever I, pro, I proclaim this, it's not just the, it's not limited to give protection alone. There is such a prosperity release. There's such a prosperity release. And then such a peace and prosperity and the miracles release that occurs. Amen. So this part of that, I will, uh, maybe I will edit and then post it again. But I'm going to declare Psalm 91 upon you and upon those whoever is going to listen to the replay. I mean, I suggest you in the love of Christ and then everybody maximum you just send this uh, uh, podcast uh, so that um, whatever God released uh, against to confront the enemy that comes in as a flood form and that will not have any effect on you and effect on those who receive. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, thank you for the great, beautiful, wonderful testimonies that you are releasing for the glory of God. Testimonies of healings and deliverances. And let us be connected. May God bless you all so richly, abundantly. May he demonstrate his favor and blessing and riches forevermore. Amen. Amen.